going on guys welcome back to the channel again I got another installation video for you here so we're gonna be putting on the solar performance 91 millimeter ported throttle body that goes along with the throttle controller so hopefully the throttle response is both affected greatly by the controller and the better throttle body links will be in the description below for both of those in case you haven't seen the other video uh, but let's go ahead let me break it down show you how we're gonna install this and hopefully we'll feel a better throttle response with this car all right guys let's go all right so i'm in the garage here so i'm gonna try to get things lit up as best i can as you can see it's very hot out in san antonio here and i don't want to be in the sun so we're gonna stay in the garage where it's a little bit cooler but uh, not by much so let's go ahead now what we're going to be changing is the throttle body as you can see right there that's what we're going to be taking off and replacing with this one right here it's 91 millimeter throttle body from solar performance as you can see it's got these grooves here that i guess been rounded out same with the bottom here so hopefully it'll be providing a little bit more air and better flow now the only thing that you're going to need for this install i believe is a 10 millimeter socket wrench for the disconnecting the battery in the back and the bolts on the actual um throttle body oh and you all will need a flat head screwdriver to take off the air intake tube that connects to the throttle body but just those two should be the only things that you need all right guys so as you know in the back of the trunk there is the battery which is located right behind here so i'm going to see if i can access it here go ahead and pull this mat away and you're going to have to pull and pry this carpet up here a little bit so you can access the back here Okay. As you can see, there's the battery. Go ahead, use that 10, mil 10 mil millimeter to unplug the negative. All right, guys, so once the battery has been disconnected, let's go ahead and move on to the next step. It says to disconnect the ECM connector by pulling the red clip underside of the connector away from the throttle body until it bottoms out. Press the tab while pulling the connector away from the throttle body to disconnect it. So we're gonna do that. All right, so if you see right here, this connector right here you'll see that little red tab we're going to pull the tab back and then we'll squeeze and pull that connection out all right guys next is going to we're going to loosen the screw right here that holds the air intake tube into the throttle body we're just going to loosen that with a screwdriver all right now once this is all completely off okay what we'll do is you can either push it down or to the side just to get it out of the way. All right, guys. So after you kind of move it out of the way, the air intake tubing here, go ahead. There is four 10 millimeter bolts that are need to come out. This one here and then two on the other side. Go ahead and just start taking those off. All right. There's the other one for the last side. So then we're going to go do the other one. Right, guys here's the bolt so let's go ahead we'll take off the throttle body put on the new one there it is guys old throttle body all right so we're gonna take our new one put it right in and reassemble everything like we did before All right, guys, so once the four bolts are bolted back in, go ahead, put the air intake tube back on, uh, screw back the little clamp that holds the air intake tube to the throttle body, and then un and plug back in your connector. All right, once that's done, don't forget to plug in your connector into the housing there. Make sure it clips just like so. All right, guys, so we're almost done. Let's go ahead and reconnect the battery terminal, and then we'll go inside to start the car. All right, guys, so we're in the car, throttle body is installed. So what we're gonna do is, it says that we need to 
turn the ignition on, let engine idle for three minutes. Then turn the ignition off for one minute. Then repeat steps eight and nine, which is let engine idle for three minutes and then ignition off for one minute, uh, one more time. And then it'll say to pretty much normal everyday driving meets this step. There's a bunch, there's like this thing where we have to go up like up to 44 miles per hour and then, you know, kind of come off. So let's just do this real quick. Let's turn it on. So let's let it run for three minutes. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and cut the car. We're gonna let it sit for one minute like it says, and then we're gonna repeat the steps again, letting it run for three minutes and then cutting it off for a minute. And then we can maybe go take it for a drive. All right guys, well, I'll be driving this car around just to kind of test out the throttle controller and the throttle body, see if I can see any big differences, but those are the pretty much the install there. So. Hopefully um, you got something out of the video. I know there's a couple others on YouTube that you can look up, but I just wanted to film my own version, doing it myself. Pretty easy to do with some basic tools and stuff. So hopefully, you know, if you really want to do one just like it, then you got the video to look at it, but that's pretty much it right there. All right guys, well again, like I said, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I'm sweating and I'm hot and I need to go take a shower, um, but I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the videos. Don't forget to follow my social medias. And uh, until the next video, guys, y'all stay awesome. Throw that out. Peace.